Danny Webster, Las Vegas Sun. Bruce, you've talked about through the stretch that they're good pockets of hockey, but just maybe not consistently. Tonight, was there a lot of good pockets of hockey, but just a couple of mistakes here and there just kind of swung the game the other way? I wouldn't say a lot, no. I, I, I don't think it helped that, again, we're chasing the game, right? We, we, we take a penalty early and then another one on top of it. Um, so, you know, again, we're behind. Again, the other team has life in our building and and we don't defend a, a, just a simple flip out and all of a sudden it's two nothing now, right? Like that, that's, so I said, our, our team gets, we have to start digging in after the first negative thing to happen to us, right? And bounce back and get through it. And we haven't been able to do that. So now it's two nothing and the other teams, let, you know, we've been there on the other side of it, especially in a, against a good team on the road, you get ahead, you're usually, you're going to say, all right, let's, keep the game in front of us, and they managed it. They just managed the game. They checked very well. Um, I thought we got going after that a little bit. But again, the third goal, we don't execute well enough, and it's in our net again, and we don't put out the fire after we don't execute. So, And they checked well. I mean, there's a reason why they're in first place. They, they, they use everybody. Um, they're buying in. They're working above. And they weren't going to give us anything, and they didn't. You know, six on five late a little bit or a few plays here or there. But, you know, that that's why you can't, you know, especially the way they've been playing lately, you can't, you know, I don't want to say they're free goals because they're not, but you can't chase the game and put yourself in that position and paid the price again tonight. <clears throat> Jesse, Ken, Chris. Jesse Granger at the Athletic, you had two new players in the lineup without a practice with the team. Um, what did you think of them, and did you think not that kind of added to the disjointed? I won't, I won't evaluate them. I'd say this with anybody, even a call-up. I don't think it's fair, um, especially a game like tonight where we didn't do enough as a team. So, you know, let, let them play a few games, and I'll, I'll honestly answer your question as best I can. And then did we look – I think we, we look not just those two. Don't forget, Jack hasn't played in a long time. Right, he's played with Marshy and Barbie, but he hasn't played in a long time. And then Theo's still working on his game to get up to speed. Now you have a new pair with with Petro, so <clears throat> there's going to be a little bit of that. Stevie's on the wing, and you know, a little bit of out of necessity with all our left wingers down. Um, so that line is probably, you know, it's going to take a while to get going and. I don't even know how long they'll be together. It was kind of a makeshift sort of thing yesterday. At the end of the day, like our game is off in that regard. Like guy, we haven't played together as a group very often, and and it's starting to show. Like it really does against good teams. Like we're just you know we're a second off in our execution, our puck support. And you can see it out there. We're just not um, clean. We're not clean. And this time of year, then these teams are hum you know humming along that. You know that you know it's going to show. It's too good a league, so we we've got to get cleaner and we've got to we've got to get together as a group. And but a few more guys may be coming in the lineup haven't played in a while. We're going to have to get them up to speed. So we've got to find ways to win and not chase it for one thing until we get clicking. And because this team will click, I believe in them. It's just going to take a little while. And we can't keep chasing games and you know until we do. Okay. Ken Bolke, Vegas. you had mentioned that on the trip that you were allowing multiple goals and you haven't been able to respond from that kind of that adversity. Like what, what's not happening in, in those moments? Well, if you look at tonight, they score on the power play. They have whatever, five or six straight minutes or I'm not sure how it played out, but then we, you know, we lose a battle in the neutral zone. They just flip a puck out, right? And it's two veteran defensemen. All of a sudden it's a two on one. It turns into a mad scramble that probably shouldn't be, right? They, we should be able to handle that situation better. And that's in the net, right? It's, I think uh, Hilly was surprised by the shot and um, was anticipating something else. So there's a combination of things. And that, now it's 2 nothing. Now, that's what's happening. Like, we, we've got to just have urgency to say, listen, okay, we're down a goal, we're okay. And, um, and then go out and play like, you know, you, you stop their momentum and you start building your own. And we, we did that after, too. I'll say that. We did. We, we, I thought we were the better team for a stretch there. Got ourselves back in the game. And then we make another mistake on a late, you know, again, a, a breakout that not a lot going on, right? Like they, we beat the initial four check. We were good. We just didn't get, get our feet moving. We didn't execute the next pass. And now we're chasing it again. As I said, good teams, like they, they smell it, right? They're like, well, we're just going to 
keep the game in front of us in the third, and that's what they did. Got a couple saves when they needed them, didn't put us on the power play, didn't give us odd man rushes, the things that get teams back in the game. So that's what's happening. We just got to be better. And again, I would put it on as much on us, right? We've got, it was a two on two in the neutral zone and a breakout, not much going on, and we didn't recover to the front of that. <clears throat> Last question, Chris. Bruce, Chris Chapman, Fox Sports Las Vegas. You got a goal from Michael Amadio, and then later in the game, that wall line had a really good shift in the offensive zone. Just what did you see from that, from those three guys? Yeah, I mean, Amo's been good here since uh, Mark Stone's been out. He's getting more of an opportunity. I think he's taking advantage of it. Um, Nick Waz had a different wingers now for a while. I think he feels good about his offensive game, and he can, you know, and Paul's kind of shifted around. But I, I think they were going through the neutral zone together better than the other lines in terms of from the breakout, you know, they were getting through there. So all of a sudden allowed them to win some races to lose pucks in the O zone by chipping them into spots because Vancouver, like I said, did a good job not allowing a lot of odd man rushes. There was certainly a few, but... So I just thought they were uh, connected, I guess, is the word, they're coming out, where some of the other lines are a little disjointed in terms of their spacing, right? So it seemed to me like we were trying a lot of long passes tonight where Vancouver with good sticks and good structure, where you might get by the first guy but not the second instead of going together. And that line did a better job with that. Um, so I thought they had the puck more getting over the red line and being able to make a play uh, where they could get it back. And then they recovered it, right? That's a little bit of... That sustained pressure in the ozone. They did a better job. Maybe the D getting pucks when it get, went low to high back down low where they could get a second crack at it, right? And lately we've been getting that. That's the part we're not executing on the the uh, puck recovery or getting it by the first layer. So we're not able to wear teams down like I think we've done in the past with our size. And that was the one line that did do a good job with that, I thought.